Hello everyone, in this video I wanted to talk to you a bit more about the load more button and the pagination bar. Before we go ahead, note that Wix is always updating their site and adding new features. The way we are doing things now might change slightly when you find this video. If you notice any big change, please leave a comment and I'm going to try to help you. I'm basing this video in, on those two articles, adding and setting up a data set and adding and setting up a pagination bar. You can try to find this article to have an idea of what we are talking about. So I want to give you two examples. The first one is imagine that you have a database with a thousand items. If you decide to display all those items at once on your page, it will take a while for them to load on the live site. And uh, or if you, for example, if you go to the data set and you limit the amount of items that you want to display, for example, here, I have set up three items only to display. On this repeater. If I preview it, it will display the three items that I have. I have nine items actually in this data set, database, but I only have three here displaying. But I don't have any button here to load more or to do anything else or pagination bar. So what we're going to do now is let's start with the load more button. The load more button is basically a regular button that you can add using the sidebar. So just click on the plus sign. And then you can find the button here right on top, or you can just search for it on the search option. So button, and then you can pick one of those. I'm going to choose the first one, grab it, put it on my side. The first thing I'm going to do is double click on the button, and I'm going to change the name of it. I'm going to call it load more. You can call it show more. It is completely up to you. Second, I need to make sure my repeater, I'm using repeater, you can maybe use maybe a, a table. Uh, in this case, I'm using the repeater and make sure that everything's connected to the data set. Okay, so once everything's connected, you're going to go to the button that you have only added now, and then you're going to connect to data as well. Connect to the same data set that you connect your repeater, because we're going to load more items from that repeater. And now on the option click action connect to, you can choose load more. Simple as it is. You don't need to do anything else. The label you have changed already, like for load more or show more. Close the pop-up, preview the page. The first thing that we're going to see are the three items. Once I click load more, another three items will display. Once I click another load more, the other three items will display and the button is grayed out, meaning that the items that I have, they are all displaying already. Okay, cool. So this is the basic, simple. So let's say now I want to use the pagination bar. The difference between the load more button and the pagination bar is the feeling that it gives you that you are actually going to the next page. To add the pagination bar is simple, you just need to click on the plus sign here on the, on the sidebar, search and search for pagination bar. Click on it, choose the one you want, grab it, put it in your page, and now you can have like one or you can have two. So I'm gonna add two so I, the person won't need to go all the way down the page to see the remain items. They can just click here and choose different page. And then, so yeah, I have add, add them here. The only thing you need to do is click on the pagination bar, connect your data, choose the data set. Once you have done this, done there is nothing else you need to do it's pretty pretty simple now we can preview the site and then of course i have three pages because i have nine items three items per page click on the second click on the third and so on and you can do the same thing in the top one i hope this video was clear if you have questions leave a message below and i will get back to you as soon as i can